In this episode of Tony's Swords and Mustangs, we're going to talk about Denise Halicki again. She's back, just like Jason in the Friday 13th series. Just when you think she's gone, she just rises from the dead. In her press release dated February 2nd, 2023, Denise Halicki and her team of lawyers has let the world know that she's not going away just yet. Her lawyers would like to remind the public that her lawsuit against Carol Shelby Licensing Inc., Carol Shelby Trust, Classic Recreations LLC, is ongoing. It asserts that, among other things, claims for millions of dollars against Shelby slash Classic Recreations for licensing, building, and selling unauthorized replicas of Denise Halicki's Eleanor Carr character from the Halicki slash Disney copyrighted 2000 remake of the film Gone in 60 Seconds. Yes, that's right, Denise Halicki has brought the mouse into the fray. I'm going to quote from their press release. In this lawsuit, Disney Enterprise Inc. filed a declaration under penalty of perjury confirming once again that D. Halicki owns any and all intellectual property rights and interests in the Eleanor Carr character as she appears in the 2000 remake of Gone in 60 Seconds. End quote. Her team goes on further to say, and I quote again, There have been inaccurate media reports that this case is over, and there has been some final determination. That is false. End quote. They go on to mention that the district court has twice agreed with her and her team's assertions that the car is indeed a character and is subject to copyright protection. Another quote from her team, The district court set a trial in March 2023 for, among other claims, Denise Halicki's breach of contract claims against Shelby for the breach of their prior settlement agreement with Denise Elise Halicki and against Classic Recreations for a breach of their prior license agreement with Denise Halicki, Eleanor Licensing, LLC, end quote. Here's another quote here, but this kind of packs a lot of fun. Denise Halicki looks forward to her day in court and forcing Shelby slash Classic Recreations to stand by their word. The district court has already granted Denise Halicki partial summary judgment and dismissed Shelby's claims that Denise Halicki breached any express term of their prior settlement agreement. It goes on further to say, Denise Alicki is the exclusive owner of the Eleanor Carr character, including all merchandising rights, which includes vehicles. These rights include the Eleanor Carr character's look, image, and name from both the copyright original and remake of Gone in 60 Seconds. Just as Disney, Universal Studios, Warner Brothers, and DC Comics, to name a few, aggressively fight and sue against infringers who copy their merchandise, Denise Alicki similarly protects her rights. There was a lot to unpack there, and and it's not surprising that Disney would get involved with this. Disney would like to see all their characters protected indefinitely. They spent millions of dollars successfully lobbying Congress to extend their characters' copyright infringement protection. Many of Disney's protections were due to expire in 1983 and again in 2003. This didn't happen either time. Congress stepped in because money talks, I guess. At least that's been the case so far. Denise goes on to say, It never brings me joy to have to sue someone for infringement. I want to enjoy my franchise and brands, yet I know I have to protect my rights, as we all should against infringers who sell counterfeit goods to the public. I never feel infringers love the franchise, they just want to take from it. Gone in 60 seconds, and the Eleanor Carr character franchise, brands, fan loyalty, and merchandise have been going strong for over 48 years, with the original and 22 years with the remake. The Eleanor's car character's demand and popularity are greater than ever. End quote. That last quote was really, you know, out there. If anything, the more exposure that this case gets, the less popular the car, through her actions, becomes. I didn't say car character there because I agree with the Ninth Circuit District. I don't think this car is a character. It's a car. I think that's also the case with a large majority of my commenters. My video got a lot of likes last time and very few dislikes. Also, I censor my comments on YouTube because, you know, kids watch these things from time to time. There were hundreds, literally hundreds of comments that were censored because of a C word or a B word or an F word or combinations of all three bandied about. And none of that sentiment was positive towards the car character Eleanor. Just a side note here, Chris from V for Builds posted a video the other night about this topic. I think he ran it by his lawyer to make sure it was, you know, okay. He wasn't going to get sued again. He basically said he's going to steer clear of anything to do with Eleanor, and he'd prefer to maybe do something with Shelby. That's someone that he respects. It's an American icon, and he'd prefer to work with Shelby as opposed to anything related to an Eleanor. Actually, respect that decision. I think it's also the right one. I personally 
could care less about Eleanor at this point. Denise has basically spoiled the brand. I think most of you would agree with that statement. If you haven't seen my last video on this topic, you can check that over here. Also, if you like this video, please consider subscribing. That's always appreciated. Until next time, we'll see you.